Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make biscuits. Mmm, yummy. This is an all-purpose biscuit. It can be used for biscuits and gravy. You can just put some butter and honey on it. You can do like a breakfast, uh, a breakfast biscuit where you put like your bacon and eggs in the middle, whatever you wanna do. It's a really easy recipe to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get baking. First, let's start by sifting our dry ingredients together. So I got a nice little sifter here. We're gonna add two cups of flour. And it's okay if it like falls off the sides, I'm not too worried about it. Two tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of white granulated sugar. Let's go ahead and sift this together. All right, once we have our dry ingredients sifted together, let's go ahead and move over to our uh, food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a pastry blender or a fork uh, to do this next step. All right, so let's go ahead and add our flour to our food processor. And now I have five tablespoons of cold butter, and I just cut them up into little chunks like this. Go ahead and add that. Put the top down. If you don't have a food processor and you wanna pick one up, I'll put a link down below where you can get one. I use mine all the time, I love it. And we're just gonna go ahead and pulse it. That should be good enough. It's nice damp, it's all mixed together. Let's go ahead and add that mixture to this, back to this bowl. And as you can see, I got flour everywhere on the table and I don't, I'm not ever concerned about that because this is where I'm going to uh, shape out my dough as well. And I need flour for that, so there we go. Now we take one cup of cold milk. It could be whatever kind of milk you want, whole milk, 1%, 2%. Let's just go ahead and add that together. We just come in with a fork or a spoon. We're gonna mix this together until it forms a nice dough for us. All right, now your dough can be a little bit sticky. So if that happens, just take a little bit of extra flour. We're just gonna add it in there. This is the flour that I use for dusting. There we go. So I just wound up adding about uh, two or three more tablespoons of flour. And so you don't want it to be sticky to the touch like that. Now it's absolutely perfect. And now I'm gonna take some, a little bit of my flour here. And let's just add the, bow, the dough. Now I'm just gonna push it together with my hands a little bit. I'm just kind of just push it down so it makes like a rectangle. Like that, and I'm just gonna fold it over on itself. And it will be really nice soft dough, really cool. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more flour. I'm just gonna kind of shape it into a rectangle. And it'll be something about, you know, maybe 10 inches wide by about an inch thick, something like that. And then I'm just going to cover this with loosely with some plastic wrap. And let's just let this dough rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Once our dough has relaxed, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And now um, you can use a biscuit cutter to do this or you can just do what I'm gonna do is I have this glass and I just put some uh, flour all over it. Let's go ahead and cut out our biscuits. Just push down. Try not to turn it too much. Go ahead and put it on a ungreased uh, baking sheet. And if it's a little too sticky, you can just dust it with flour. And then with the rest of this, just kind of put it all together and just pat it down again. Use more flour as needed. And then you cut out some more. Now 
And then maybe with this last one, I'm just gonna shape it myself into one. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and bake these in the oven, 425 degrees, for 10 to 15 minutes until they'll puff up and get nice and golden brown onto that step. And when they come out of the oven, they'll look like this, nice and golden brown on top. Awesome, they smell really good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut into one. Look at that, awesome. And then I'm gonna take some butter. Yummy butter, some honey. Boom. And that is one of my favorite ways to eat biscuits. All right, our basic biscuits are done. They turned out amazing. They're really easy to do. Simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. Grab this guy.